Well, first of all, I, I think on the artificial intelligence front, um, you know, I, I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. Um, and um, I think we should be really concerned about AI. And I think we should. This is, AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive. Um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. Um, and no, normally the way regulations are set up is that a whole bunch of bad things happen. There's a public outcry. The, the, and then after many years, a regulatory agency is set up to regulate that industry. Um, and there's a bunch of opposition from companies who don't like being told what to do by regulators. Um, anyway, it takes forever. Um, that, that, in the past, ha has been bad, but not um, something which represented a, uh, you know, a fundamental risk to the existence of civilization. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Um, in a way that car accidents, uh, airplane crashes, um, faulty drugs, uh, or bad food were, were not. They were, not they, they were harmful to, to uh, a set of individuals within society, of course, but they were not harmful to society as a whole. Um, AI is a fundamental existential risk for human civilization. And I don't think people fully appreciate that. And uh, so, so there'll certainly be a lot of job disruption. Um, because what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including, I mean, all of us, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to do about this. <laughs> um, it's like the, it's the like, it, this is really like the scariest problem to me. I'll tell you. Um, and um, yeah, so I really think we need government regulation here just to, because this is, you know, ensuring the public good is served. Because you've got companies that are racing, that they kind of have to race to build AI, or they're going to be uh, made uncompetitive. You know, like the, essentially, if your competitor is racing to build AI and you don't, they will crush you. So then you're like, ah, we don't want to be crushed. So. <laughs> Uh, you know, I guess we need to build it too. Um, that's where you need the regulators to come in and say, hey guys, um, you all need to really, you know, just pause and make sure this is safe. And like when, when it's cool and, we're convinced, and the regulators are convinced that it's safe to proceed, then you can go. But otherwise, slow down. Um, and, but, long, but you kind of need the regulators to do that for, for all the teams in the game, you know. Uh, Otherwise, the shareholders will be saying, like, hey, why aren't you developing AI faster? Um, because your competitor is. I'm like, oh, OK, we better do that. Um, anyway, so it's like, I mean, there's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. But when I say everything, like, the robots will be able to do everything, bar, bar nothing.